everybody. Welcome back to Teach Me to Science. My name is Saren and today we're going to be talking about equilibrium. This video is going to be on the basics of equilibrium. So we're going to go over the definition and then a few examples that will hopefully help equilibrium make a lot of sense. Equilibrium can really be thought of as a balance between products and reactants. Equilibrium occurs when the products and the reactants are both being formed at the same rate. This means for every product or every reactant that I make, the opposite is being made at the same rate with respect to stoichiometric ratios. To help make sense of what equilibrium means in a real perspective, I thought it would be fun to do some interesting examples. I don't know if any of you had a lava lamp when you were growing up, but I had a purple and pink lava lamp and I loved that thing to pieces. So what would it look like if our lava lamp reached equilibrium? This would mean that the bubbles coming off of the bottom of the lava lamp and the bubbles joining the lava at the bottom of the lava lamp would be happening at the same rate. I think this example really shows how equilibrium is a dynamic state. So it's not frozen in time. The lava is moving up and the lava is moving down while the lava is also in equilibrium. The next example I have is about water. I feel like somehow my videos always end up mentioning water. Maybe that's because water is so interesting and it's also extremely important to our survival. Just a thought. This example shows how equilibrium can be reached between different phases. The water leaving the puddle is evaporating at the same rate as the water that's condensing from the cloud. In reality, the rate of evaporation is probably not even close to the rate of condensation of water, but I thought it was an interesting example. And the last example is for anybody who really is interested in biology or going into the medical field. Osmosis is the diffusion of water through a membrane. Osmosis occurs to reach equilibrium or the same concentrations of different molecules on both sides of the membrane. This doesn't mean that the volume of water is the same on both sides of the membrane, but it does mean that the ratio of substrate or dissolved solutes, in this case K plus, to water is the same on both sides. And again, this equilibrium is dynamic. Water is still moving freely across the membrane, but the ratio of K plus to water is remaining the same on both sides. I hope you found this video on equilibrium helpful if you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Bye!